Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Difference in, in, in the way, like, you guys started. When you guys started, it was a different time, a different era. You talking the 70s. No, 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 no. Look how he say he came in. Okay. Same way I came in. We come to you. It's a challenge. So it wasn't no easy road. I promise you, every opponent back then uh, uh, were worthy opponents uh, uh, that you can speak about. We talking about Raymond Washington, Tookie, mm. uh, Lil James Compton, Barefoot Pookie, Michael Conception. I can name them all day long, just all day for the 50 years that I've been around. But mm. like I say at the beginning, when we came in, it was nothing but uh, your face, what's your ID, and your pistol, what's your passport. Mm. So that's how everything was encountered. Because at that time in our days, you couldn't tell this before colors. You couldn't tell Crip from Blood because that wasn't even thought about. In fact, it wasn't even no sets. Eight trade, 60s, just when it was West Side and East Side Compton. So it wasn't just like we were dominant. No, that, that, that wasn't the case. Everybody from the early 70s uh, were very real respecting and about that business. Well, as far as me uh, uh, and others, we never thought about uh, it, it expanding or going into what it is now. We were just young kids. Uh, we didn't know where we was lost, uh, not misguided, because wasn't nobody telling us what to do. See, we didn't have, uh, contrary to what people think, Raymond them, they had an army and this and that. No, they were the faces of uh, the Crips, but they were 18. We 14, 15 year old juveniles uh, before they even had this type of situation where we was getting two or three years uh, for homicide. Uh, carjacking was hmm. called GTA, get caught with a gun, they give it back. So a lot of the things, uh, most of the guys from my era, from 71 to 75, from 14 to 18, we either got a uh, uh, 25 or better arrests in a four year period or either they got a uh, murder conviction or either if they still alive today they have over 25, 30 years in prison. Two of those three they usually have uh, before they was 18. So uh, we had a free wing. It was the wild, wild west. and uh, But it was honorable. Wasn't people getting uh, uh, involved that wasn't involved and signed up for it. So a lot of innocent people wasn't getting uh, hurt as it is now where anybody, because of the area you stay in, uh, it could be detrimental. Uh, so wow. I understand it. And, and, so, and you mentioned prison uh, along the way. Um, I know that in, in, when you're incarcerated, um, that becomes a deal as well, um, where there's members of uh, – Crips, blood, different uh, Muslimic faith, all these different sectional groups, um, and and it become it's a different, it's like a different structure when you inside of the inside of the walls than it is when you outside. Actually, it would almost seem as if it's more, more like like it's more togetherness when you're inside. <clears throat> what yeah, do you think about you that? You had no choice but to be together when you're inside. You understand me, um. A lot of a lot of man, shout out to Melvin, man. I'm gonna get this get, I, now I gotta get the um get the star stud out of my head. Bro, oh no, man. it's all good, good to man. Meet him, man. Good to meet him, man. Good OG to meet is him. Zero. Yeah, that's yeah, real love, talk. Man. That's good Cali, karma, man. man. Real talk. Good, good, good spirits can feel hey, good spirits. But anyway, man, um, it's a difference. When you outside in that world, you can run from hood to hood. See, that's what them youngsters know when they when they get on this gang, this gang, see, I, I don't I don't gang bang. I don't gang claim and I don't got nothing to do with the gang. I, only just, I got one game. I'm in God's game now. That's my game. That's my only game. One-on-one. And, on one. and so we know that Johnson. now, but back... But, 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 but I'm, I'm going to stick to the topic. Watch okay. this. But back then, you know, these they get in these games, and it's time to go to um to reap the benefits of what the game has for you, which is the penitentiary or the grave. When it's time to reap the... One thing, they, you know, when you in the streets, I can I can hit you and run over and hide in, in his hood. Hit him, run over and hide in his hood. Hit him, go hide in her hood. But when you go to the penitentiary, there ain't no hiding. Ain't no hiding place. You run into them all now. It, it's time to reap the benefits. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no togetherness. You go in the penitentiary and find out them niggas in there just as ruthless as the ones in the streets. But there ain't no out of it. Ain't no, ain't no walking away. Ain't no, no, nah, you can get jumped out. Nigga, mash you out. Nigga, some, some of them crips in there when they go in there, I'm going to tell you some real, 
you know, you know, I, you know how I get in. Them niggas be hoes. They come in there and they, 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 they not the niggas they in the streets. They not that crip in the street when they is behind them bars. You can do a lot of that. Like I tell you, ain't no pistols in the penitentiary. I got a major announcement to make, but I'll wait to break that later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let me uh, Go uh, a little bit about California prison system. Yeah. Y'all read my book, The New Slave Ship, A Ship That Does Not Sell, that deal with this uh, new industry called uh, prison. Uh, but uh, when we first went to prison, there was no Crips. Uh, there were very few, because most of us were juveniles at the time in 71, 14, 15, 16, 17. So uh, when we got to the age to where we can be uh, uh, sent to prison, uh, everybody also need to know that California is the only prison uh, a state that has uh, no segregation. They segregated. Uh, when I was in Georgia prison, I don't have Latino facilities, whites, but California is the only state in the United States that segregate, and this is why. Uh, most people don't know the difference between a street gang and a prison gang. Like you say, right, you don't right. go in there with a pistol. We call it you check your guns in at the county. <laughs> okay. So now you're coming up close. You got to come yeah. up close. But what happened when we first started going to prison, here it is, these guys, you got the Right after George Jackson, the Soledad brothers, uh, Fleety Gromgrove, Hugo Pinnell, rest in peace, who got killed and slain in Folsom after 50 years in solitary confinement, and to his daughter Allegra, my own girl. Uh, but anyway, so now when we got to prison, now you got the BGF, Black Gorilla family, you got the Black Panthers, you got the ABs and Brotherhood, you got the Mexican Mafia, you got the Northern Familia, you got the Muslims, you got the police, and then later on you start breaking it into CCOs, Crips on the Constitution, uh, Blue Notes, uh, took in them, Vanguards, uh, Black Coats, uh, UBN that's in New York, Peabody and uh, all them that started that. So when you're in prison, it's a difference, believe it or not, in California, it turns into racial. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.